For 60 years, we have launched satellites, spacecraft and astronauts into space. As a result, the Earth is surrounded by a cloud of debris. There are more than 18,000 objects being tracked from the ground. At least 750,000 fragments of around a euro in size and millions of pieces that are smaller. Only 1,100 are functional spacecraft. And at typical impact speeds of 40,000 kilometres per hour, all this material could do serious damage. It is not comparable to a gunshot. The energy contained in a one centimetre particle hitting a satellite at that velocity roughly corresponds to an exploding grenade. Uh, so the consequences of such a hit mean a satellite failure, uh, for larger objects, even a satellite destruction and fragment generation, which again then has environmental consequences. We rarely get to see the effects of space debris, but in 1993, during the first Hubble servicing mission, a solar array was removed from the space telescope. Back on Earth, the panel was found to be peppered with damage. What space debris experts fear most is a chain reaction, where objects break apart in collisions and fragments go on to smash into other objects, creating more debris. These collisions generate more fragments, and these fragments are candidates for new collisions to come. So follow-on collisions, if you like. And that, the, the largest fear that we have is that we enter in some sort of cascading effect, where one collision triggers the next one, and this is not, not anything that will, will happen within a microsecond like in the movie Gravity, but uh, this is something that will set in slowly, hardly noticeable, but unstoppable. Over decades, the, uh, the frequency of collisions might increase without human influence. That is a scenario that might render some regions in space unusable for spaceflight, and that will be a disaster for spaceflight. Here at ESOC, ESA's team tracks space surveillance data and plans manoeuvres to keep the agency's operational satellites out of harm's way. ESA also ensures that when its spacecraft come to the end of their operational lives, they can be taken out of orbit to burn up in the atmosphere, plunge safely into the ocean or move to so-called graveyard orbits, safe from collisions. Concepts are also being developed for missions to capture and remove objects from orbit, perhaps using nets or sails. The top priority, however, is to avoid creating a new generation of space debris. Use of services from space is, is in everybody's interest. Um, mitigating the problem, space debris, uh, should be in everybody's interest as well, because we have generated a global problem that can only be solved on a global scale. It needs a global response. With hundreds of new satellites due for launch in the coming years, ESA is working with its international partners to ensure this orbital pollution doesn't get any worse.